we will continue reading the next part is from the lecture morning lecture 12th december 2013 guru dev said the spiritual body is the extension of Radha's mercy and Guru Kripa. I want to stay with you, my beloved Lord. And this I can do only with my Siddha Deha. Then impossible becomes possible. Well, I have. Hmm. So two days ago, we were reading about this Goranga Baba, Gora da Gora Goranga Das Babaji, or Gora Das Babaji, Ms. Direndra. Goranga Das Babaji Maharaj. Mm. And there is a story of Sanatana Goswami. Mm. Uh, so at one point, Madan Mohan, Sanatana Goswami is Madan Mohan. Uh, asked Sanatana, my dear Sanatana, for years I am taking your offerings of this uh, wheat dough bowl, <laughs> just put in fire, <laughs> and uh, then Sanatana would, this would be cooking, he's cooking, and then he would offer this to Madan Mohan. And Madan Mohan said, is it possible maybe that you put some little bit salt in? Mm. And then Sanatana said, my dear Madan Mohan, today I will give you salt and then tomorrow you will ask for more and then for more and then for more. And you see how I live, I am renunciate. I even don't have salt. So, but we can make arrangements. If you would like some more, some to enjoy some other things that I cannot offer you, we can make arrangements. And then Sanatana Goswami engaged a pujari <laughs> and handed over the care of Madan Mohan to a pujari, trusted Vaishnava pujari, and Sanatana Goswami just left for the higher purpose. And this is remembering Madan Mohan's Leela in his in his Swarupa and serving Madan Mohan, Radha Madan Mohan. Of course, we know he is Manjari, so serving Radha in his Swarupa. Mm. <laughs> the same thing happened, happened to Goranga Das Babaji. He found amazing Govardhan Shila. And then Govardhan Shila 
asked for this. Giri Raj asked for this and for this, next for this. And then Goranga went to his guru and said, <laughs> I'm all lay, I'm running. Lila Smarana Zero. What should I do? Then his guru said to him, uh, respectfully and with love, return Giriraj, put it on Govardhan, and go back to your Lila Smaran. Go back to your Svarupa. This is most important. Yeah. So this is where our treasure, treasure of our life, where it is. Our all happiness, fulfillment of all our desires is in fulfilling the desires of our beloved Radharani. And we can do it only <laughs> in our Siddha <laughs> So it's, yeah, it's very clear, very simple, very understandable. So, yeah. so dear Gora Chandraji, could you some give, if you have some comment, welcome. Radhe Jai. <clears throat> Uh, Gurudev, he's speaking in so simple way. But everything has so deep meaning. He say the impossible become possible. So I feel like what is the impossible? This intense love of God, this extreme intimacy, that seems to be impossible. How can the jiva have uh, such an intimate, confidential relationship with God? with the absolute truth, the creator of everything. It seems to be impossible, but it becomes possible by the mercy of Radharani. I remember Sri Guru Charana Patma Prema Bhakti Jaha Hoyte Avidya Vinasha Jati. The seat of Prema is coming first. Then the ignorance will go. So the Prema inside of us, like a seed, start already growing without our Swarup. So, but when we get the seed by the mercy of Guru and the Parampara, then the Prema is growing already. But the Prema cannot be expressed In the soul consciousness, if you are only a spark, Atma, then at one point, when the love becomes so intense, as a soul, as a spark, you cannot express that love. So you need a body to express your love. And that is coming by the mercy of Radharani and Gurudev. 
So then the impossible become possible. Now we can express our love in such a intimate, sweet way that even the creator of everything, God himself, sometimes even take shelter at your lotus feet. Your love has the capacity to control him. So that seems to be impossible. That God takes shelter of the jiva. Krishna taking shelter of the manjari. But the impossible become possible. By mercy. Jai Guru Dev. Yeah. I just read to add the comment. Krishna has a spiritual body, which is Satchidananda Vigraha. And we have a, we have now this body, which is made by five uh, Mahabhuta. On this material body, we cannot serve Radha and Mohan. So to serve Radha and Mohan, we need spiritual body, like similar like them, like, like them. So, and then this material body come from by the mercy of father, mother, especially mother. So spiritual body also coming from Radha and Mohan, especially mother. And we need Guru Dev also, because without Guru Dev, nothing happening. And this Guru Dev say this impossible Gora Chandra ji interpret me you know, uh, many ways. And uh, I feel this one is Manjari Baba is very difficult to attain. Because Mahaprabhu, only Mahaprabhu, no previous incarnation could not bring. Only after Mahaprabhu, we could have this Manjari Baba. So this is very impossible to attain Manjari Baba, but by the mercy of Guru, Krishna, or our Swamini, it is possible. This is really amazing. Rade, rade. Uh, would someone else like to add something on this? I don't know who is some, somebody there. Yeah, many devotees are there. Mm. Yeah, 50 devotees. Oh, Goranga. Yeah. Dear Goranga. Mm. That's here. Yeah. yeah. This Okay. Kuranga. Yes. Uh, I just came. I just came uh -huh. a minute okay. ago. Okay. So please. Okay. I don't know what you are. <laughs> I just <laughs> heard Jayananda Ji. The last uh, okay. words. Okay. <laughs> please continue. Radhe Radhe. Radhe.
Suniti, how about you? Would you like to add some? No, I'm happy relishing. Thank you. Okay, Radhe, thank you. <sighs> okay, next is uh, what Gurudev said, morning lecture, 5th December 2013. about Pancha Tattva. Pancha Tattva. Pancha means five. Tattva means truth. We see on the left and right end side corners Srivas and Advaita, they are praying. Srivas represents Guru Tattva, the truth of spiritual master. And Advaita is Shiva and Vishnu. So they, Guru, Shiva, Vishnu, Krishna is also in them. There cannot be the absolute truth. They cannot be. So Advaita and Srinivas. They cannot be the absolute truth because they are praying. To whom are they praying? To Gauranga, Nityananda, and Gadadhar. Gauranga is Radhika. Krishna's internal pleasure potency. Nityananda represents Krishna's brother Balaram and Nityananda is also Ananga Manjari, younger sister of Radha. So Nityananda is also servant of Radharani. Gadadhar. is Radha's Shakti, Prema, love of God. If we understand that all these energies are Radharani, They are love. And that Krishna 
is inside the heart of all, including Radharani. Then we can understand that there is no other way no other way to understand krishna god than the way of love love means giving without even smallest self interest So this Panchatattva, so if Goran, Goran Gasundaraji, if you could do some, if you some add something or explain. Uh, honestly speaking, oh, okay. No, no, please, 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 please I want please, to please. say please. No, I want to say I want to hear that. No. no. I'm just trying to penetrate in these words of Gurudev. And uh, in the first glance, maybe it could sound a little bit contradictory. Especially this sentence when he is saying, that Advaita and Shrivas, they cannot be absolute true. Because they are praying to Goranga, Nityananda and Gadadhar, who are different forms of transcendental love or different forms of Radhika. Uh, why I say in the first glance it can be contradictory because it's already pancha tattva so it means that five transcendental truths that guru tattva is transcendental truth and also vishnu tattva shiva tattva we have but the point is as i can feel that all these tattvas cannot exist without Radharani. All these tattvas are present in transcendental love, in Shimati Radhika, in her Antaranga Shakti manifestation, inner spiritual antara, inner spiritual manifestation. So Gurudev wants to make differences here, as I understand, that we should understand clearly who is Goranga, Nityananda and Gadadhar, and then it will be more easier to understand the position of Shrivas and Advaita Acharya. And he is giving nice explanations that uh, Nityananda 
is actually in one aspect he's ananga manjari the sister of ragana and other members of panchatattva like shivas and advaita are praying to nitya nanda like we can say original spiritual master in the form of ananga manjari who can give the mercy to attain shimata radhika like an ultimate goal then he is explaining position of gadadhar again like radha's shakti radha spring so shivas and advaita are praying to radha shakti to pray to attain this ultimate position and to become radharani's maid servant because to attain radha prema is the ultimate goal and the ultimate position who can serve the radhika in the mood of prema is manjari so they are praying deeply in the heart for manjari bab then he explaining uh, goranga yes sorry he explained goranga first goranga like radhika krishna's internal pleasure potency which is the center of everything which is the source of everything because the love is the source of everything and gadadhar again we have advaita and shrivas who are praying to the source of love shimata radharani so i understand in that in this way this his sentence and expression of his words because he wants to make clear understanding between this goranga nityananda and gadadhar like original source of all tattvas and then other tattvas which appear in material world in the form which is representing in shrivas or narada muni like a guru tattva but shrivas cannot be guru tattva without mercy of shimata radharani no one can become a guru without the mercy of shimata radhika no one can attain this position if he is not radha priya sakhi so again we are coming to the point that without essence of everything love embodiment of Shima, and shimata radhika like a embodiment of that love no other tattvas cannot function and gurudev i think wants to to establish this again using the example of panchatattva to establish importance of understanding transcendental love like a ultimate goal and mercy which chaitanya mahaprabhu gave to every one of jiva bhuta sin kali yuga is to attain the position of maid servant of that transcendental love mahabhava swarupini radha takula and the last andakta ji said the last uh, sentence he read love means giving
Krishna is taking. He is receiver. But love, Radhika, is a giver. Without even smallest self-interest. So this is the nature of prema. I am yours, but you are mine. And all Radhika's maidservants, dasis, are following the same mood of complete selfless desire to serve out of love. So this is a beautiful sentence. Love means giving without even smallest self interest. This is the definition of Prem. This is the definition of Bhakti, Kevala Bhakti, Uttama Bhakti. And in this sentence, which Gurudev said, is present Shimati Radhika. And only, like we all know, and many times we heard, only real normal position for soul is to be near energy, who is giving the pleasure, pleasure giving energy, not taking. And by the mercy of Pancha Tattva, we can receive that gift if we really want, if we really desire it, if we are very eager to eat. But we should understand what for what we are eager. We cannot say I'm eager, but I don't understand for what I'm eager. We should understand what is our desire, for what we are hankering. We are hankering to be in the position of maidservant, of personality who is completely embodiment of love, always giving the love, And no one can serve this person without accepting the same mood. It comes to me, I'm sorry. Wow, beautiful. I'll just, mm, please correct me. So beautiful, thank you very much. So I want to little bit to say, um, Why Guru Dev saying Advaita Shuribasa cannot be the absolute truth? Mm -hmm. I forget Shastra, but uh, one, once, one day Narayana Maharaj said, At first, Krishna is alone. Mm -hmm. Then, Krishna is left side. Shurimata Radharani appear. Then Krishna's right side, Guru Tattva appear. So this Guru Tattva is, say, we may say Nitai, mm -hmm. or we may say Balaram or Anangamanjali. So therefore, this three is originally one. But they, they appear different way. And uh, at first, honestly speaking, at first, Guru De this, I had Gurudev's explanation, this one. I was confused. Especially, Gadara is Radha Shakti. I don't know. Many may not confuse, but I was confused. Because, if I de if we read Chaitanya Char Charitamrita, translated by Sri Prabhupada, 
。パンパーダメンション。ガダーライズ。クリシナズエナジー。クリシナズシャクティ。あと、グルデーブセラーダーズシャクティ。そう。And then, <笑> so, パンパーダ may not say long. グルデーブ also may not say long. Both true. But how can we adjust? <laughs> Then I was meditating and I was little meditating and thinking. Then my conclusion is like this. Tattva Bichara or by the Bhakti point of view. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Krishna himself. And Gadara is Krishna Shakti. But Rasa Bichara point of view, Rasa Bichara or Raganuga point of view. Then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Radharani. And then Gadara is Radha Shakti. If we think then both is correct. That's my, my understanding. So then, Guru, because at first, Guru Dev was sometimes, you know, especially for me, practicing by the Bhakti is very far away, very far out. <laughs> But、uh, it, really, Guru Dev is also true. And he's fixing one point, Manjari Baba. And also, Goranga Sundara explained very nicely this last sentence. Love means giving without even smallest self interest. So, Aishwara Krishna said Narayan. Or even Dwarakadish. Sometimes he's fed up. Because sometimes devotees are saying, Oh, please give me, oh, my Lord, please give me wife. Oh, Lord, please give me husband, nice husband. Oh, please give me success. Oh, please give me money. So, so many people asking. Then Krishna's position is always given to devotee. So sometimes this Aishwara Krishna is thinking, oh my God, everybody asking something. And they are worshiping me in awe and reverence. So sometimes he's he a little bit tired. But love, especially Braja Baba and Brindava, b r a j a m s h i does not think Krishna is Supreme Lord. Instead of his there thinking, oh, Krishna is my son, my friend, my lover. What shall I give to him? What can I serve him? And this so much pure raga there, so much pure, pure prema is there. And this highest prema is Mahababa and、uh, Madana Ke Mahababa. So, this is、uh, so Krishna w a n t only Krishna, Krishna has everything, but Krishna w a n t to have this pure love without even smallest self interest. Also, Guru Dev is saying, This is, I was impressed. Guru Dev said this before sentence. There is no other way, no other way to understand Krishna than by love. We cannot understand Krishna, honestly speaking. But through love, through in his internal potency, 
is Radharani. Dearest Radharani. Then we may understand Krishna. And who can understand Radha? This Manjari. So Manjari could understand Krishna Mohan and also Radha. Radha Radha. Radharati, may I also share? Sure, sure, please, please. I think it's so beautiful how you explained this Panchatattva from both positions. And I remember this was 2013. So at that time, it's 10 years ago, there were many disciples coming to Gurudev who had the background of this uh, approach that Krishna is the Divine Lord. I am his servant. And how can I learn how to love God? And then we had some knowledge, of course. We have heard that the only way to approach Krishna is through Shimati Radhika. At least I had. We have heard some things from our Guru Narayan Maharaj, but to really to internalize it, this was Gurudev's blessings on what I can feel in the view, how to guide us uh, to the feelings of Shimati Radhika's perspective. Because it is true, and we all know, we can see Panchatattva, Gauralila, from perspective of Krishna, and we can learn how to feel it from the perspective of Srimati Radhika's blessings that Krishna can learn how to feel her deepest love for him. And it took some time, in my case, it still takes time to do the shift. And when I read the lines today, I always feel so much appreciation and gratitude. How good if he did the miracle to bring us into the feelings of seeing and feeling everything from the perspective of Shimati Radhika. And not only uh, in theory, not only in tattva, not only knowing that this truth is also there, but really to guide one's soul who wants to surrender to the divine into the feeling how to surrender to divine love. That is the miracle that is still happening and that is so special because not so many teachers I have met in my life who could make it so clear and you know hammering Gurudev uses the word at that time he also says I'm hammering you <laughs> why hammering because some old you know many old concepts are still there yeah, and to feel this Panchatattva from the perspective of Shimati Radhika's relation. Like Nitai and Anamandri, the younger sister. And then to see their relation also in the Mitalila, how they are communicating, how they are serving, how are Shimati Radhika and Ananga Mandri serving Krishna together. And how everyone else also wants to relish that. How they are praying, even Shrivas and Narada, who are usually chanting, you know, Narayan, Narayan. How they all want to feel and uh, relish this most 
relishable relationship as a Dasi to Srimati Radhika. And I remember Jayananda Maharaj, Gurudev was always so happy when you come up with these different, different points, how to explain that even Srivas and even uh, Advaita, Acharya, they are praying for, for this intimate relationship, like our Gorachanda uh, mentioned, this intimacy. Oh, yes, we have heard that he got a kick. And I remember that question when you asked Gurudev, isn't it, Gurudev, when Advaita Acharya is kicked by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, that he also got blessed with Manjari Bhav? And Gurudev was nodding, yes. So we are like hunters of a, you know, this relish. Where can we? Now that Gurudev has blessed us, the Dasi of Shemate Radhika has blessed us with this, how can we also find it everywhere and feel it everywhere? And this is really amazing. This is a miracle. It's still going on. And those of the Bhaktas who have not been brought up with the Krishna consciousness version, <laughs> They have also some good luck because they can start with the version of the perspective of Srimati Radhika in their bhakti immediately. But then, all together, if we look at it, there is no contradiction whatsoever because both versions are right. Both versions, the perspective of Panchatattva from Krishna and from Srimati Radhika's feelings, they are both completely compatible because in the end, it's a lila between both of them and both of them are wanting to invite the living entities back to their service. So there's no complications. But I just remember that time and it makes me feel so happy because always good, it was coming up with newer and newer ideas, how to explain to us the glories of Srimati Radhika so that it becomes a sty, a fixed feeling in my heart, in my consciousness. And we will also see later on how good it is explaining it so nicely that the kingdom of love is always greater than the kingdom of God. That the cows that Nanda Baba has more cows that, than, uh, 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 no, uh, Brisha Banu ha Baba has more cows than Nanda Baba and this and that. So I remember that with the, uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful uh, feeling to, to understand that Gurudev has given and is giving us all these steps, step by step, these baby foods, and then slowly, slowly, we can now feel the uh, dasis of Srimati Radhika are preparing other dasis to relish, really relish Goranga, Leela. Thank you. Radhe. Yeah, I yeah, I totally agree with Suniti. I also thought like that, how this miracle came to us that we could understand from our Tattva background, moving towards Srimati Radharani. And it took years that Gurudev could somehow change it. But it not came by intellectual understanding. We are not studying this, like learning what Gurudev said, learning, learning, learning. No. Every time we listen to Gurudev, this mood somehow coming to us. But we have so many such a big wall 
<laughs> yet it took time to enter that and to remove it and then put the feelings inside. So I think this is the power of Shravan. No? We need we need to listen again and again. Not that we can understand intellectually, more that we the mood enters our heart. And I also understand that the realization, the understanding of that coming, finally coming from inside. It's not that you understand it with your mind and by learning uh, what Gurudev said. So, Sadhu Sangha is important, like high class association, somebody who living in his varu, that that can come. And then I wanted to say that the real Krishna, the Krishna, how he really is in his origin, the supreme. He is eternally 15 years, 8 months and 14 days old or something. This is his original form. Saka Krishna also coming from that and Gopal Krishna also coming from that. But in his original supreme manifestation, he is the Kishore. And I like how Gurudev explained the different levels of understanding of Govinda in Gopa and Gopal Mantra. That first it prefers to the mood of Saka, no? Govinda. And then we learn that this Govinda actually he giving pleasure to the senses of the gopis. Uh, the gopis, the senses of the gopis, they relish his qualities with their eyes and nose and ears, everything. But recently, Gurudev, he explained again more deep meaning that actually, and Anantaras Babaji also writing this, that actually Krishna's senses always playing always relishing the qualities of Srimati Radhika. So that is who Krishna really is. And that only can be understood by law. Outside of Vrindavan, he looks like Krishna, but he is in a rhyme. And one more thing, I sorry, somebody want to say? Long time ago, we already learned about uh, Gora Arati and the last lines Shiva Shuka Narada Preme Gada Gada. <laughs> so, and I, and I always thought, and maybe it's my own, my own mistake, only I do that. But I always thought that there's the Gora Arati and Pancha Tattva is there because we do that in Iskon, like Pancha Tattva. No? In Mayapur, there's this big Pancha Tattva. Mm -hmm. And in my meditation, I always thought there's the Pancha Tattva. With Advaita Chaya and Srivas also in front. And devotees, they pray to them, including Shiva and Narad. No, they, they are in ecstasy to see the Panchatattva. 
But after Gurudev explained that, or receiving the Diksha Mantras, I understand that Narada is Srivas. And Shiva, Vishnu Shiva is Advaita Acharya. So then I start thinking, no, there are is not Pancha Tattva. And Shiva and Narada praying to them. No, there are only three. Mahaprabhu, Nitananda, and Gadara. And Advaita and Srivas. Mahavishnu and Narad Muni, they also praying to see Radha Tattva. So that was a new understanding of Gora Arati last lines. I want I want to know from others <laughs> if you also thought before like this or you always see it different already. I hope you understand what I'm talking. <laughs> 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 <coughs> so Gora Chandra gave us uh, inspiration and uh, there is you know all the true actually three tattva is the main tattva and uh, I was thinking Krishna diff uh, Krishna manifest at first three tattva. Then try to create uh, say like a material universe and, and help the jiva. Then more two tattva needed. <laughs> Vishnu needed, Shiva needed, also Guru needed. Who is Jiva Tattva? And uh, so actually, <laughs> Gora Chandra give, you know, I did not think about, you know, this Gora Arati's meaning, honestly. So you give me another insight. And also, say, But also, like, uh, not, you know, like, uh, not, uh, Shribas is actually sometimes say uh, incarnation of, of Narada Muni. Also, some be people say another way. And also, it represents so Guru Tattva. So that means if Narada Muni respect Shribas because Shribas that's also, you know, God Chandra understanding also right. I feel that also even Shribas, no, uh, Narada Muni or Shuka, Shiva, even worship Shribas Taku and Advaita Charya also true. Why? Because sometimes Advaitacharya is Mahavishnu or Sadashiva, Eternal Shiva. So in that sense, respectful. Also, Shilvastak also sometimes say, I forgot, maybe if I wrong, you know, sometimes kind of like a Prada Maharaj or sometimes another Guru Tattva. So in that sense, so they respect, he respect, Nara respect in, in other perspective, all good tattva or another great devotees. That's also possible. So therefore, 
you know, Gona Chandra gave us so much, you know, deep insight. But uh, my feeling is both correct. But uh, very, thank you very much. You give us so much inspiration. Maybe also depending on rasa or uh, rasa vicha or tattva vicha, but I don't think it through. <laughs> yeah, true. I don't know. You know, this also, because, you know, you are so fixed, you know, you don't see other way. So that's also possible. We went to Mahanidhi Swami three weeks ago, mm -hmm. two, three weeks ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then uh, at one point he was telling us a story how he's, he's, uh, he's starting to hear from his guru uh, at Radha Kund again. <laughs> almost everything from the beginning <laughs> and then he heard the truth is subjective and he said when I heard the truth is subjective it took me two weeks to recover from shock <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, interesting. <laughs> oh, yeah. Different you points. Have to explain view. this. You have to explain this. Uh, otherwise, the, the fools cannot, like me, cannot follow. Why is it such a shock <laughs> to hear that the truth is mm. subject clean? Mm. Um, yeah, as far as I understand, depending on angle from which we see the truth we see like if we say if we see Radha from the right side we are standing on the right side <laughs> looking at Radha from the left side or from behind then Radha looks different <laughs> or we see Radha uh, crying for Krishna or we see Radha meeting Krishna. Yeah, it's different with different experience. And uh, I also I also remembered how in Bible, uh, I think Abraham said that uh, different devotees of God see God in different ways. And therefore, the more devotees we hear from, our, our picture of God becomes more and more complete. <laughs> so, yeah. Abraham? Abraham. Mm. From the Old Testament. Ah. To the father of mankind. Speaking of Bible. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, Mahanidhi Baba is like saying, it seems, you know, every percept is okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, uh, you know, sometimes he say, mm -hmm. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appearance place. IGM thinking like this. So that is Baba think like this. Both is okay. <laughs> so he, he did not enter argument. <laughs> so this is amazing quality. Because if we so Andakabayas Andakaji say, if we see different perspective, then we may we may you know may make different answer. But uh, our tendency, we are so narrow-minded. Especially I'm so narrow-minded. Sometimes I'm thinking, this is only truth. <laughs> this kind of tendency. <laughs> but uh, 
I think it's some, you know, Guru Dev and, uh, you know, some, some self-realized person is very broad-minded. And <laughs> they don't want to enter the argument. They just fix his own Swarupa and his own Bhajan. That's I feel, I, I feel it. Mm. <coughs> yeah. So Gurudev says, there is no essential difference <laughs> between the different groups of devotees who are branches of the Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu tree. We are all Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's family, Gora's family, Gora Parivar. The traditional lines of Gaudiya Vaishnavas, like family of Nityananda, Nityananda Vamsha, Radha Kunda Babaji's Sadhus, Gaudiya Mat, Iskon. Anyone who accepts Mahaprabhu. Gaudiya means followers of Mahaprabhu in Gauralila and followers of Sri Mati Radhika Hermanjari's maid servants in Krishna Lila. All spiritual masters, Acharyas, in our line are Manjaris in their Swarupa. Could two Manjaris of Srimati Radhika be against each other? Could they have any disagreements in their loving service to our Swamini? Whatever seeming disagreements we see in our limited material vision, we should never criticize any Vaishnava. We should never take sides. Rather, we should stay respectful to all. Mercy is always available. So many sadhus, our Sri Gurudev, Vaishnavas, 
Shastra books. Our deities, etc. The stream of mercy is always flowing. We have to check if we are able to catch that flow of mercy. <coughs> Imagine your heart as a being as being a container. the mercy will flow straight to your heart. But uh, why don't we feel this mercy all the time? Or sometimes not at all? Why cannot we fill up our container? Because our container has holes in it. Small, big. The mercy just flows out. We cannot keep it. Why? Because of our aparadhas. Aparadhas are making these holes. Mercy cannot stay. It flows out. We have to have a container without any of these holes. <coughs> hmm. You know, what the container is built of? It's built of humility. The more humble we are, the stronger the container. Mm. 
the more mercy we can catch and fill in. Radhe, Radhe. Mm. So it reminds me of Gundi Chalila. These words. It reminds me of this Lila. With Chaitanya Mahaprabhu very clearly showed and gave the example of importance of cleaning the heart. In that Lila, he was with all his associates. He was cleaning this Gundicha, this small temple where Jagannath has to come. And he was cleaning very, in very detailed way this temple. First, he cleaned the big garbage, big stuffs, which are not belong in that place, very visible, different kinds of woods, logs, and so on, garbage, different garbage. Then he started to clean the smaller things, leaves, small branches, twigs. And so on. Then he started to clean, to clean, to clean very carefully. And he was always talking to dev devotees, be careful in your cleaning process. Nothing should remain which is impure. Then they started to clean the dust, the sand, and then they took the buckets full of water and put on the floor. And suddenly, so many dirties appear in that muddy water. The Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, as I remember, with his own example, started to clean the walls. And again, splash the water in all place inside of Gundicha. And devotees finally were thinking, okay, we finished our job. We finished the process of cleaning. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Nityananda and all others, they started to clean more and more and more because they knew that there's more impurities are present but others they cannot see it and then they made a pile of different small almost invisible dirtiness and devotees 
have been very surprised. Is it possible? We were thinking that we already clean everything. So, after some time, after very, very detailed process of cleaning, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was satisfied. I met a, sh a little shorter, and also I forgot all the details. But I think that everyone can catch the main point. Then he was satisfied. And has now Gundicha is ready to receive the Lord. So this Gundicha represents the heart of devotee. This container. <coughs> and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave example how this Trinada Peace Unichena process can be practiced because through this practice and chanting the holy name with full attachment and love, not mechanically, the process of cleaning of the container of the heart will be effective. And Guru Dev is giving here. Very nice example that heart of the conditioned soul is a very much full of different holes. Gurudev is saying smaller or bigger holes. These holes in our heart, devotee should recognize in his own heart. And this is, as I understood Gurudev, I'm trying to practice, although I'm very bad in that, unsuccessful. This is the task of devotee, homework. At least to recognize the big, quite visible impurities in the heart and put some, his own endeavor to recognize, to try to remove, and if, we, if he cannot remove it, then very humbly come to Guru and say, please, I cannot do, this is mission impossible for me. Please help me. Because false ego, wrong identification, false ego are making this holes in different ways. And this false ego is represented in snake of Kaliya. No one could kill the Kaliya. No one could stop the Kalia and the poison which was going through so many heads, which Kalia heads. And so many heads are present in false ego. And it's not only that, each head has a different faces. And the result of this kind of strong ahankara, this strong ego, is actually apparatus, different types of apparatus. Nama apparatus, Guru apparatus, Vaishnava apparatus, Dhamma apparatus, Jiva apparatus. Because only such a personality who is full of poison can enjoy 
in this apparatus, making trouble to himself and to the others. And Gurudev is giving here the medicine how to close the, these holes to the process of humility. <laughs> but to be humble in a real way, natural way, we also need the mercy, Kripa, of Guru. And I think this is the subject which many devotees, or all devotees, are very aware and they are try, trying to live their lives and to close their holes. And sometimes it's not so easy, at least in my case. And for that we need the proper Sangha. We need the Sangha from those who are already closed their holes because we need living examples. And also we need the association of those who are very sincere in their attempts to close the holes. And Sadhu Sangha is the important thing for that. Because of wrong Sangha, we have so many holes in our hearts. Sometimes I'm asking myself, devotees are asking also, why I have so many holes? Is it possible that I made it It's not necessary that we personally made these holes, but because of false identification, the presence of false ego, we took wrong association. And this wrong association built a wrong mentality, wrong materialistic, I, we can, when I say wrong, I think materialistic mentality, materialistic conceptions, materialistic feelings, materialistic values, because of this asat sangha, wrong association. And result is so many holes in our heart. And the greatest misfortune is when we have good fortune to approach pure devotee. We have a tendency to do apparatus because of these holes. And these holes are also results of previous lives, of course, not only in this life. Because these different samskaras with Asat Sangha, we are taking and bringing in so many lifetimes, so many lifetimes. And only way how we can be free and prepare our container really to be able to receive so much mercy is to take complete shelter of sadhu, guru, and pure Vaishnavas. Then by their compassion, these holes will start to close, to close, to close, and the humility and love 
together, humility and love, will make this patra, this container, completely fit to receive and to hold. Because we are receiving, but we are problem is we are not holding. So we will receive, hold, and not even that. This patra will become bigger and bigger and bigger. The container of heart will be bigger because it will become more softer. When material is melting, you can stretch it as much as you like. But is, if material of some pot is very hard, it can receive as much as he can, but he cannot receive more. But if material is melting, then is able to receive, to hold all the mercy. So we need that kind of heart and container. And I just remember this Lila Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Gundicha Lila, and meditation on that Lila. I hope that it will help us because Goranga's mercy, Nityananda's mercy, Gadadhar's mercy, Advaita's mercy, Shiva's Thakur's mercy, and all Gora Bhakta Vrindas are present in that Lila. And everyone who is listening, meditating, talking, sharing, will receive enormous benefit in the form of real humility. Radhe Radhe. I took time. Radhe. Radhe Radhe. Can I ask Goranga Sundara <laughs> what it means to take complete shelter of Gurudev? Surrendering the false ego. Surrendering my independency. Surrendering my independent mind, independent senses, independent intelligence, on which I am very, very proud. Surrendering my proudness and accepting person who can help me. Because I can be in the, in the association of that person, in the association of Guru. But if I don't accept his real help, his real well-wishing mood to me, which can help me, then the process of surrendering is not active process and will not bring the result. But if devotee is surrendering, and this is the process, it's, sometimes it can come in one second. But usually we don't have so much Sukritis for that second. And we need a little bit of time, like Guru Dev is, is saying, progressively, surely, slowly, but surely, and so on and on. But to surrender, I am yours. First, I am yours. It means 
I'm surrendering my mind, my false ego, my existence to you, because in that way, I can be able to listen and to apply your instructions. We receive instructions, but we cannot apply instructions. Because we didn't accept this mood of surrendering. And false ego is so strong that he is spitting out so much poison which cover our intelligence. Poison is covering our intelligence and makes our ego stronger. It's not our real nature. Like Jayananda just said in the beginning, it's Mahabhuta repeating Gurudev's words. This is really ghosts. This is the snake, poison snakes with so many pets. And for that we need sincerity, but also eagerness. If devotee is not eager to attain a goal, he cannot be enthusiastic, he cannot be uh, very adaptable <laughs> for modeling. We should accept that Guru has to model us. He is giving us instruction how to become Radha Dasi, isn't it? So many instructions, so many explanations, so many tastes. But one thing, he should do it. To remove our false ego, and this is his dirty job. <laughs> because he knows, whatever I speak, whatever I tell him, he will not be able to apply if I don't remove false ego. <clears throat> and for removing false ego, we also should voluntarily give him our false ego. Voluntary. Because if I understand that I am sick, but uh, first I have under to understand that I am sick. Then next step is to go to the doctor. Doctor gives diagnosis and says you are sick from this and that, and this is the medicine. And I should, what is upon me, to accept his diagnosis and to accept his medicine. And then to follow the recipe according to his instructions. So, this means that patient is aware of sickness and he has a trust, faith in the doctor, and also he has a trust and faith in the medicine. And he has a trust in the process of taking the medicine. This is complete shraddha. But if the patient thinks, oh, he doesn't understand my sickness. Maybe he is not such a good doctor. Or maybe his diagnosis is okay, but this medicine is not for me. This is for someone else. So, what we are doing? We are showing our independent foolishness independent nature, which is 
the main sickness. So surrendering is the process in which we are giving up all wrong ideas that we are this body and that we are first spiritual soul and we need a help. This is the first sign of humility. If we don't accept help, this is not first sign of humility. This is very strong false ego. So this, and this kind of shishya, disciple, will not have enough benefit from relationship with the Guru. I remember Guru Dev said in one case, if he doesn't want my help, what can I do? He doesn't want. I gave him everything, but he doesn't want my help. So what should I do? What the doctor can do if the patient comes and doesn't want to accept anything? Diagnosis, medicine, and the way how to use this medicine. If he doesn't want, he throw out diagnosis, he throw out the doctor, he throw out the process recipe and said, maybe another doctor is. So this is the wasting of time and this is the misfortune. But what can we do? So we should use our opportunity because really we have very, very rare opportunity to be in this position, to have such a merciful Gurudev. But this is not a game, as I think, and I'm very convinced. This is not a game. Gurudev is very kind. I don't know if he's listening this. He's very kind, but like he said, but immediately when I see the ghost in your heart, I'm attacking that ghost. He's not attacking me, fool. He's attacking my ghost. But I don't have so much intelligence to understand and accept this. So, I said, Rad, thank you, Diana Diji, for this question because you are helping me to go through through myself. Because when someone is asking the question, actually everyone has a benefit. Person, especially person who has who put the question. Then those who are listening the answers. But honestly to say, the most benefit has a person who is answering. Because he has opportunity to see himself, where is he in these words and in these answers. So thank you very much, Radha, Radha, for your blessings.